Hello friends. It is Denise from Loving Life at 60ish and my Etsy shop is fairyrosecottage.etsy.com. It is Saturday. Um I did not make it here yesterday. We went to cancer care and he needed a blood transfusion. And guys, we were there until we got home at six o'clock last night. So um, anyone who has messaged me, emailed me, contacted me through Etsy, I apologize. Uh, I just have not been able to catch up yet today and get those things answered as well as comments. I am way behind on comments. And it's not that I don't read them because I see them come through and I glance at them and um, I'm so appreciative that of them, but I don't do anything with them until I have time to sit down and actually respond. Even if it's just a thumbs up or a heart. Oh, that's not really a heart, is it? Whoa, a heart? Ugh. I don't know. Um, or a... Um, Thank you. Uh, I do. I mean, every single comment means so much to me. So anyway, <clears throat> I am here today and we are doing adventure savings. That's what we were going to do last night. And then I thought, you know, silly me, I thought, hmm, maybe I could do it on a live tonight. Um, but it's just not going to work. I have to go pick up a grocery order and I, um, it, it's going to be, it's kind of late to pick it up. And then I've got to race home and get supper. Um, and I still have a mess to clean up. So in our dining room, in front of the window, there's a dry sink. That was my grandparents. And um, I was the lucky recipient. My dad gave it to me. And I absolutely love it. It's where my grandfather, my Bampy, used to hide his booze in the bottom, in the back. I don't really think he hid it. Everybody knew it was there. But, um, but anyway, I use it for linens and stuff like that. But all around it is stuff. Because you guys, I've told you I'm a pack rat. Um, and I've been trying to clean out. And so there are bins and boxes of stuff, mostly um, that my friend Georgia put there as um, in uh, like things alike, like in one box is planner stuff and one box is scrapbooking stuff and photos. And, and then we've got these big, heavy bins, the big bins, um, not the jumbo, but the, you know, the big bins and um they are full of photos and memorabilia and they are in front of this window um and they have been there for a year now um if i'm honest maybe even a little longer and i need to move them out so that the fellas can get to the window now every room has an issue like this so the windows are available. You know, I can open them and all that stuff, but there's stuff in front of them. Like in our bedroom, it's a nightstand and the bins full of um, winter clothes in front of, you know, not in front, not blocking the window. But anyway, so I started working on the dining room ones because that's probably the worst room. Um, my friend Georgia came and did the work room and my uh, son's room, which has become the catch-all junk room for now. Eventually, it'll be the guest room. And I'm looking here in the workroom, and there is stuff blocking the window still. There's um, my, one of my drawers of tool is in front of the window. And so um, we'll have to see. If that has to be moved, I'll just ask him to move it. There's not really any place to move it to, but, you know, um, so I've been working in the dining room and I I don't stay focused very well anymore, guys. 
I kind of, I do it for a little bit and then I'm like, oh, I want to watch a YouTube video or, oh, I want to watch some of Dance Moms or I want to go sit outside on the deck and read. And it, the last thing I want to do is to be going through all this stuff right now. But so in front of the window, I I am going through those bins and boxes. The larger bins and stuff, I'm going to push to the side um, and worry about those. Those, to me, are kind of a winter project. I say that every winter, but they're full, like I said, of photos and memorabilia and stuff. And I've got to be able to lay it out on the table and leave it there. So, I, you know, I'm just going to leave it for now. But so I got to get home and clean up that mess so because we have family Sunday tomorrow and we have to be able to eat at the table and I've got planner stuff and uh, stickers and fun stuff right all over the table and on the floor around it empty boxes that need to be broken down you can hear it can't you in my voice it's like frantic and then I still have to clean around the bedroom our bedroom windows um, but I have an, another day or two, uh, depending on which way he starts around the house, right? He's starting on the side with my kids' bedrooms. So those are good enough right now. The outsides of the windows also have to be taken care of. I need to weed whack and pull any gardening stuff and, and stuff away from the windows but I think uh, tomorrow is Sunday and the kids come and they work on projects. And I've asked my son to ask his girlfriend if she would be willing to do those two things tomorrow, the weed whacking and the moving of stuff. So fingers crossed. Anyway, I got to get going is what I'm saying. And um, I almost I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to do a live um Thursday. What did we do for... Oh, villains. And no video. And this one is adventure night. I have $200, guys. So adventure night, the savings that I put in this is savings from things that I sell, like on Marketplace or... Um, not my Etsy shop stuff, um, but but stuff. And I happen to have $200 um, because I think I only did adventure savings once last month, so it kind of built up. So I'm excited because I feel like that might close out some more of these games. Now, this book is by um, our pal Jackie over at... Um, the Blessed Daisy Budgets. I'm going to put these back in the back too. These are all finished challenges from in there. There are, I believe, 13 total challenges. You can go on her Etsy shop, Blessed Daisy Budget, and download this. Um, they are eight and a half by 11 pages. And I split, I uh, printed two on a page, so they're half sheets for me. And um, yeah, so that is what this is. And then I also have, as you can see, dashboards. She offered the dashboards free for people who had purchased the book um, on her YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel is The Blessed Daisy Budgets and her... Um, and her Etsy shop is also. And her name is Jackie. And she and um, our friend Yvonne from Canada came up with needing an idea to help Scott and I. So the um, proceeds of the sales of these uh, go to Scott and I, um, except for um, Etsy fees and taxes. Those, you know, obviously, Jackie keeps because she's got to take care of them and um yeah so uh she has very kindly put this together and 
it's exciting to do and I, I am finishing the challenges. A lot of people have already finished it. Now I kind of played them, I'm putting 10 in each of my Coke, my uh, grape savings, my grape soda bottles are $10 and I, I'm a little bit slow on these. Um, this is a, uh, it, the, all these games are inspired by the movie Up because I always say uh, my husband is my Carl. And uh, if you're new here, um, my husband was diagnosed with terminal lung cancer that had metastasized to his bones back in July of last year, 2023. He was given two months if he chose no treatment and six to 12 months if he chose treatment. We have a wonderful, amazing oncologist and a team that is out of this world, guys, at Cancer Care. Um, we have, in all of the hundreds of people we've met through this, I, I can say, I can count on one hand the duds, the people who shouldn't be working um, with people. It's just been amazing. And... Um, he is on his third type of chemo. Um, the cancer has metastasized to his brain. There is a there are a lot of lesions in his brain, and there is a mass in his brain now. Um, he's finding it difficult to breathe now because there's a new mass in his lungs. Well, we're not sure that's why, but there is a new mass in his lungs. And um, he's on home oxygen and he's in bed most of the time. But um, we go to our appointments once or twice or three times a week. And um, this, it was made for him and I to help us with basically anything we needed, um, medical bills and, and anything like that. So... We are so thankful for this. It's been an amazing um, thing. Uh, so many um, downloads have been sold. So it's great. We're going to play. Yeah, shut the box. Come on, let's get some high numbers. So enough of that stuff anyway. Ten. I, um... I'm just so very thankful for the community. I did spend some time, there's another 10. I did spend some time this morning um, watching some savings videos. I don't get a chance as often as I'd like. Uh-oh, 12, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh-oh. Nope. Bummer. <laughs> I shouldn't talk. This is 14, so we're going to put 7 in. I've already finished this one a couple of times now, um, but I do like to continue to, we're going to take out three ones if there is three ones. Yes, there is. And put a 10 in. Um, we I have a bank in it slip, so so far this one has brought in $170 for pop the balloon or shut the box, whichever you want to call it. But anyway, I've gotten a chance to watch some savings challenge videos this uh, today, and that has felt so good. And while I was up at Cancer Care, I was able to do that too. Ah, uh, look, this one is finished also. Um, okay, let's see. So the suitcases are $5. Let's do... Um, some of these are going to take a while. How many of you are still playing this or just starting? And then how many of you have finished it? And I'm going to also roll the dice here. It's just a one dice. Four. Um, let's put that in. So that's nine and we'll take one out. 
I kind of, you know, I did, of course, I've got the other up savings book now too, which is for household renovations. Um, and by the way, guys, household renovations, I, in my original household renovation book, the one with the Disney challenges that I created, not the up one, but the first one that I did, like with Minnie watering her garden and stuff, $2,000. Wasn't quite. It was $1,997. And so I rounded it up to $2,000. And interestingly, the windows needed um, to finish paying them off $2,000 right? And I wasn't sure where, exactly $2,000. Wasn't sure where I was going to get it from. So there you have it. Uh, so that felt really good. Uh, pink across, blue down. Nope. Nope. This one is getting there. Five and five. Nope. Pink across, blue down, nope, blue down, I mean, blue across, pink down, yes, the toidle. So I am forever grateful for this book, and it has the savings in it. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me, what I'm doing with it, you know, because this has been things that I've sold on Marketplace and such. And um, right now, I'm just saving it up, guys. And we have a total somewhere. Let's see, the turtle is $4. One, two, three, four. Let's do one more. These ones are hard to close out. One down two across, nope, two down, one across, nope, nope, <laughs> five across, three down, let's do that, nope, three down, which is what it was supposed to be, five across, nope, six and four, six and four, yes, a jellyfish, Is everyone having a good weekend? I hope. Not frantic like mine. I know I sound like, uh, oh my gosh, she must have had a gazillion caffeines. And yes, I have, by the way. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put that back. And that's probably one of the reasons why I can't seem to settle and get one thing done, right? Okay, we have this, and the chart is here. Um, for this part. And I know I should start with the sixes, right? Because the high number's first. Red, orange, it's going to be, let's do, that's too close to the red. I was doing it kind of rainbow colors. Orange. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's better. We're going to do two of them, guys. I know, that's 12 bucks, but that's all right. 10, 11, 12. And I, I started it on here, and I didn't like how it was coming out, so I <laughs> decided to do it on the laminated piece. This is finished, too, so look at all the ones we've finished so far. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, we have plenty. Let's see if there's any that we would be close to finishing. Not that one. And <laughs> not that one. That one is finished. Nope. 
five, ten, fifteen. No, this. Um, this one, two, four, six, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Twenty-six dollars. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Let's see if that really happens. How's that sound? Um, let's see. I, so I'm not going to roll the dice because we're at that point where every time I roll the dice, it's I have to roll it forty times to get it to work. So we have two, four. Cause these are each two dollars. Six, right? Five, six. Then we have one poipus or dolphin. Those are three. One, two, three. Now I'm not doing the other ones in this book. Um, right, I've decided to, so I have a couple of scratch-offs and stuff, but I've been doing them in the uh, up book instead. One seahorse. Oh, we better do that. And a seahorse is five. And then two jellyfish. It's a beautiful day out today. Yesterday was gorgeous. Like, keep the windows open day. Today, I did keep the windows open until about mid-afternoon. Then it started getting really hot, probably because I was doing work. 15, 20, 4, 5, 26. That was right, guys. So, we have no idea how much this was going to bring in, right? Let's see. We have 80 there. 80. Let's... So, that means that there's 80 in the savings account already. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. One, two, three, four, five. So forty five. Oh, eighty, eighty five, ninety, ninety five, a hundred, five, ten, twenty, hundred and twenty, and then seven. So a hundred and twenty seven. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see. Um, so that's a finished savings challenge. And let's do this first. <sighs> that was the under the sea knockout. I created this as a freebie. It's in one of my videos. Uh, for if you were doing this, uh, you could keep a total, running total of what you had saved. And then, because we finished a challenge. All right, let's see what else we might be able to do. I don't know, guys. I think we should just play them now because if I finish too many of them, right, I'm going to uh, only have a couple of things to work on. So let's put $10 in. If 
for that and roll the dice. Oh, it's a D12. Seven. Ten and five, six, seven. This one's going to save a lot, I'm just saying. But it's going to take me a while. Let's play shut the box or try to. I'm not going to talk this time. Do you believe me? Four. We need high numbers, not these stinking low numbers. Six. Come on. Give me a 12. Six. No options, is there? Give me a 12. Eight. <laughs> You're not listening, Dice. Remember that night that I got all the six? Oh, look at that. Four, five. Nope. Wow. Nine plus seven plus three plus two plus twenty-one dollars. So we'll put ten in, right? About half, a little less than half. Pop the balloon. No luck on that one today. Okay, this one is just a regular roll of the dice for these. Um, two. We're going to do this whole row. Another two. four think of five so remember there are way more games than what you're seeing here but I've got them here uh, ones that I've finished and this is a six five and six and then we're going to finish. I'll be sad when this is finished. Will I do it again? Um, Probably. Yeah, I can't imagine that I won't. I'm going to do these two also. Um, I really can't imagine that I won't do it again. Because... I have enjoyed it. And the other thing is, is I might do some of them again, right? Those are, that's $10. Um, maybe not the whole book all at once. I don't know. I don't know. Like some of them I could put in with my games uh, book. Mm-hmm. Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 12, 24. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Oops, wrong one. Right? 6 times 4 is 24. So we'll get those out of the way. Now, the all the letters are $2 each. Right? So that's going to take a while. 24. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... We'll take a one out. And put that in. Yeah, I think that that's going to take a while. Well, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fifty-nine. <laughs> That's a lot. I may choose to do them. Oh, there's 56, it says. Oh, it doesn't count these three dots. 
I may do them at a dollar. Actually, I am going to do them at a dollar. Well, I don't know. I'll have to decide later. All right. So let's do... Let's play another Shut the Box because I am a glutton for punishment. Come on, high numbers. That is not high numbers. <laughs> Seven. High numbers. Twelve. Three. I'm so disappointed in you dice. I'm going to trade them out. Four. Wow. That wasn't any better. Seven. I am going to get Chinese food for supper tonight when I go in and get the grocery order. Usually one of my kids picks up the grocery order. Um, ten. Nope. Uh, on Sundays. But I wanted to get it tonight because we're doing brownie Sundays for my grandson's birthday tomorrow. We're doing tacos, taco bar, and then brownie Sunday bar. And um, Lauren's taking care of the taco stuff, and I'm taking care of the brownie Sunday stuff. And uh, I wanted to get the stuff because I need to make the brownies and make sure they're cooled down. But I'm not going to have time to make them tonight now. Uh, 9 and 8 is 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. And so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sad but true. My husband doesn't want Chinese food. I think it just doesn't. Nothing tastes good to him anymore. He wants French toast. So I'm going to have to come home and make that. Seven again. Lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, I can't believe how many are finished here. Done, not done. These are all $5. So I have $50 left here. We'll do another 10. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Let's see, did we talk about where this money is going to? Right now it's all in savings, but it's there um, for Scott and I. It's over a thousand dollars. I can't remember the exact. I think it's twelve hundred and something. So it's there for when we need it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Six, seven, eight, nine. Is there a one somewhere? Yes, ten. Let's color in ten places. Two, four, Six, um, silver, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
And then let's do this one, 10. Yeah, that doesn't really show, does it? Let's do it a different color. Let's do a pink. We don't have any pink in this one. 10. All right. Eleven. Eleven dollars. Boy, that money went fast, though, didn't it? Twelve. Darn it. We have eleven. We're going to say that dice came out at eleven. <laughs> Not twelve. Oh, wait. No, no. I have an extra dollar. That was from something else. So we will use it because I don't want to do any IOUs. $12. $12. There, guys. Not bad, huh? All right. This frantic woman has calmed down a little bit. And I am going to continue on my quest. What time is it? Four, almost five o'clock. Ten of five. So I have about a half hour I can work. And try to clean up around the dining room and then I'll go and get the groceries and come back and make my husband supper and have a little bit of supper myself. And then, we'll just go from there. All right, guys. I, you know, I, <laughs> I was going to say goodbye, right? But then I got something else to say. I put a lot of pressure on myself. And I sense that a lot of you do the same thing to have a to-do list, to get the to-do list done. And I really thought at age 61 that maybe I would work myself out of that sum. And I have this year, trust me, since um, last July, uh, things that were so important before are less than important now. But I still have these big to-do lists, you guys. <laughs> It's crazy, isn't it? All right. I will see you real soon. I'm. Oh, the other thing is, is we need to do the 2000 giveaway. I'm still waiting on a couple of people's things that they um, sent. And I will check with them. You know, no, no big deal if they didn't end up sending them or something. But I just want to go ahead and get this... Uh, giveaway going. So fingers crossed, I will be able to do it in the next day or two. Okay. I'll see you real soon. Bye.